Hey, what's up you guys? It's your girl, Jay Marie, founder of Jay Marie Premium Sneakers. I just wanted to come on here real quick and talk about something that I've noticed. And I wanna talk about toxic traits and why we accept toxic traits. And because I am a founder of a company, of course, I wanna talk about it from a business perspective and give you some insight on it. All right, you guys, excuse my eyes. I, I don't know why my eyes always for the first half of the day be swollen, like looking like Kermit the Frog, but, and I don't even wear lashes. So I don't know, but whatever. So I wanted to come on here and talk about toxic traits. And in this particular discussion, I want to talk about it in regards to business. Why do we adopt toxic traits in business and just to give you an example of what I'm talking about like the saying um I'll sleep when I die you don't know what you're gonna do when you die most people don't know what's going to happen when they die and from my understanding and this this is not a debate you know you can have your own perspective from my understanding and what I've come to understand if you're not on the right side of things resting is the last thing you're going to be doing so that's toxic like I'll rest when I die like no if you if your body listen if you neglect your body your body will neglect you so Listen to your body. If you're tired, go to sleep. If you need rest, and don't talk about me, guys, because my eyes don't look like this because I'm tired. Um, if you know, you know. But if you're tired, go to sleep. If you need rest, rest. Take care of your body, and it'll take care of you. Don't adopt toxic traits because it's, it, it doesn't work for us. It's not for us. It's a philosophy that's being pushed something that's negative, that's detrimental to our health, and we don't need to adopt it. You, you're you not, don't don't say, I'll rest when I die. If, if it's work to be done, have balance. Do the work you need to do and rest. Everything has to have balance. 